Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So in this week's video, we are going to do a part four to my Reddit series of revealing Reddit sex confessions. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Starting off with the first confession. I really miss intimacy. It's making me depressed. My ex ghosted me in August. We were in a long distance relationship. Last time I saw him in person was May. I haven't been kissed, had sex, etc. since May. I just don't feel ready to start anything new. I know he's my ex, but we never really officially broke up. He just ghosted me. It's such a strange feeling. It's weird to move on. I know I should. He's not going to come back. And if he did, I wouldn't want him back. Period, girl, period. Why is there always a motorbike messing with my videos? Electric chair. Ghosting someone is so disrespectful and cowardly, so he can F off. That's right, girl. Know your worth. We had so many plans for the future. We had been together for three years. I don't think I can trust someone else after what he's done to me. And I'm not the hookup kind of person. So I don't really like having sex with no emotion. But I miss kissing. I miss sex. I miss being in a relationship. I wish I didn't feel so depressed about it. Okay, this is such a great confession to start off with because I feel like this is a very common problem that many people have to face after a breakup, including myself. So I was actually with my ex-boyfriend for around three years, the same as this girl, and I get it. I get it because I went through the same thing. I'm 24 years old right now and I feel like I'm at that age where sex just feels so much better with that emotional connection with that person. And if I'm being honest, it's made it so hard for me to just hook up with someone nowadays. I can't do it. Like I went through the hookup phase when I was through the age range of 18 to 21. But after my previous three year relationship, it has been so much more difficult. <laughs> Need some sex. Man, I'm so horny. So if you are watching this currently and you are going through the same situation, my best advice for you is just to simply wait. Now I know, I know, we're gonna miss the physical affection, the sex, the intimacy, the kissing, etc. But trust me, you will not find that feeling by just hooking up with somebody. Just for the sake of feeling that affection again. It doesn't work. Just be patient and let the universe do its thing. I would rather wait for that connection than up my body count and just regret sleeping with different people even risking things like pregnancy or STIs, even though I'm on the pill, so pregnancy I don't have to worry about, but STIs are still a thing. Like, I'm not gonna risk getting myself STIs because I don't really like having sex with a condom. I should not be saying that, but like, I don't. Let's be real, we don't. It doesn't feel the same. I feel like I'm just like having sex with like, a piece of plastic, uh. take that condom off. Oh my God, I should not be saying that. Oh my gosh, no, use protection, please. Please use protection. <laughs> Risking all of that just to get my coochie wet. Mm -mm -mm. No, thank you. It just doesn't feel the same. And I promise you, your patience will be rewarded heavily, immensely, section. It will be rewarded. Your body is your home. You don't want strangers walking in and out your home randomly, do you? Plus, you never know, that special person might be just around the corner. Moving on to the next confession. Is it bad that I want to... What the I'm not going to read the rest of that confession out loud as I really like having a YouTube channel and I would like to keep it. But I kind of think that this is the type of confession you take to the grave, babe. I mean, I know with confessions, we like to let it out and you know, that we get that relief from letting out something that we're holding in our brain. But I think this is the one that you take to the grave. This is the type of confession that you take to the grave though, babe. Yeah, yeah, and yes. It is very bad that you want to do that to your sister and cousin, let alone even think about wanting to do that to your sister or and cousin. But I shall not judge too hard because I don't know what kind of trauma or psychological issues that this person may have or may have had in their past, or I don't know what this person may be going through right now. But um, yeah, let's move on from this insane. My white boyfriend whispers the N word in my ear during sex <laughs> i don't even know how i would react to that oh my gosh right let's get into it long story short we've been together for three years now he's been really sweet and caring the whole time we never really talked politics or anything like that yesterday we were making love and he whispered the n-word in my ear as i climaxed <laughs> Once I regained my composure, we got into a really big argument, as you should. I have not talked to him since. I'm feeling a lot of conflicting emotions right now. Any advice? Yes, babe, I've got some advice for you. Dump his a 
I am quite at loss for words right now, if I'm being quite honest. Wow, okay, let's dive into this. Of course, naturally, most of our initial reactions listening to this confession are break up with him, break up with this racist, break up with this buffoon. But believe it or not, please don't kill me when I say this. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Why though? Now the reason I'm not angry or peed off right now is because unfortunately I do know that there are some people in this world who like to be called derogatory words during intercourse. Like it actually turns them on, it's a kink of theirs, it's a fetish of theirs, they enjoy it. I'm not going to name a few examples as once again I like having a YouTube channel. I'm sure you guys can fill in the blanks. Now this boyfriend probably saw something online about this or maybe heard from a friend about this and thought that it would be a smart idea to use this tactic in the bedroom with his girlfriend prior to discussion about it. He probably thought it was going to turn her on more or he thought that she might have liked it but of course it backfired. I feel like this situation could have been easily avoided if you know he spoke to her first about it they had a conversation about it prior to the intercourse like are you dumb are you actually dumb are you so stupid in the head like why would you not think to have a discussion about it with your girlfriend you stupid mm. piece of and to call her such a word right as she's climaxing and you know she can't do anything about it in that time because you're too busy you know is crazy to me like at the peak at the peak of a climax like boy what is wrong with you i should come and whoop your ass myself fucking donna at the end of the day, we learn from our mistakes. I'm sure after they argued, he must have felt like an absolute idiot because he is. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't think he was a racist or anything like that because why would he be dating a black girl for three years? He made a mistake and now he's learned to never try that BS ever again. <laughs> now, this is why I say in so many of my videos, people, communication is key. Communication is the key to success. DJ Khaled. Right, I'm triggered, I'm unhappy, I'm fuming, let's just move on to the next confession. Masturbation issues with my penis. I've been masturbating a lot and having a fair bit of sex, usually coming about one to three times a day. A day? A day. Oh dear, that's not good. I've noticed my penis has been slightly numb. Hmm, I wonder why. Like, I can't really feel the inside of a woman. Should I stop for a few days? Am I overstimulated and numb as a result? Yes. In short terms, yes. I would definitely recommend taking at least a week off from masturbating or at least just five days from masturbating as doing it three times a day every single day can definitely be the cause to your numbness. I would just say take five days off and wait for the numbness to go down and if the numbness does go down then you clearly know what your problem is. You are just beating your meat a little bit too much honey. From then on, I would probably say just masturbate every other day and not three times, like maybe once or twice. And I would say probably only masturbate once a day, every other day, and maybe reduce your masturbating to about three or four times a week, not seven out of seven times a week, because damn! damn. Let that pee pee breathe, honey. Just let it breathe, let it heal, take a break. Go outside, touch some grass, touch some air. Touch some air, breathe some air with your friends socialize watch some youtube videos distract your mind and give your pee pee a rest my boyfriend cries after he ejaculates me and my boyfriend have been getting intimate lately but i've noticed that every time he finishes he starts sobbing i don't know how to bring this up but i fear that it's starting to affect our sex life any advice on what to do please babe this is not something you should be asking reddit this is something you should be asking him if my boyfriend was crying after sex every time, it would be the first question I'm asking him. Now, I don't want to shame you because I understand you're probably just a bit nervous to ask him. It might be a sensitive subject or you maybe don't want to unopen like a can of worms. And maybe this person's not particularly the emotional type or is someone who doesn't know how to handle emotions very well. So we got to give this girl the benefit of the doubt. The only thing you can do really in this situation is simply ask him, are you okay? What's going on? Because this can be so many different factors but i have heard some people cry after sex from tears of joy as long as you are with the right person and in the right setting sex can feel so amazing and so euphoric there have been times where i've been on the verge of tears haven't actually cried i feel like i haven't had that kind of sex yet 
I know that I have a lot of my sex life to look forward to because I feel like I'm only 24 and I feel like there's so much I need to discover through sex. Like there is so much I have discovered, but I feel like I'm only 20% there. I feel like there is this good 80% to go. I watch these programs where I see people literally orgasm and not even been physically touched, you know? So I feel like it is possible to literally orgasm and feel so amazing that you just can't control those emotions and you just end up crying. So it could be something like that. He could just feel very euphoric and feel amazing after sex to the point where he just burst into tears but then also it could be trauma it could be something that's happened in his past it could be something mentally but the thing is we don't know what this young boy is going through mentally or physically maybe he's in pain i don't know because the person said that it's every time he orgasms like after he's orgasm he starts crying so i don't know if he's maybe in a, some sort of physical pain or he just feels really good or it's a mental block i don't know it could be so many different factors but i think the best thing to do is talk to him and ask him personally what what is wrong it's his mind and you need to know what's going on in his mind the girl in the confession said that they're both 19 years old so you're obviously both very young so i feel like this is something that should not be affecting your sex life at such a young age so the best thing to do once again communication is key people stop going to reddit <laughs> stop going to reddit for these personal things i understand you want to let it out you don't know what to do you're young i get it but the only person who can help you is him right now so yes i hope that helps do you know what guys i think i'm done here if you are enjoying my reddit series so far make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and make me famous because i'm meant to be famous like what are you guys doing i'm meant to be famous like make me famous thank you anyways you guys i really hope you enjoyed this week's video and i hope to see you very soon bye